Well, hey everybody, welcome back as we say. We are going to do a video series on putting this old Johnson Red back together. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We got a couple in there, that's great. Appreciate that, thanks you guys that are, that are coming back. Really love it. Just like where the channel's going. It's kind of sitting in a nice place. Just people are showing up and I appreciate that. I really do. So uh, I took this apart about two months ago. I hope I remember how to put it all back together. I know I got all the parts, but that doesn't mean much. It's a Johnson Red 2077. It's not a turbo, but I was looking for parts and I couldn't find a cylinder. We needed a cylinder because this guy, see if I can show you here. Uh, no, I can't. Just say, let me go get a light. You got to see this. There is a reason that uh, we couldn't reuse the cylinder. She got hot. And, uh, yeah, there you can see it. See that white spot in there? That is a hole. It got hot. So I talked to Bellhopper, and he told me to get some erratic acid put in there and, and get that aluminum off of that cylinder wall and maybe it was salvageable but <laughs> by the time the aluminum was gone so was that uh, that hole showed up so we're going to put a new cylinder piston in it um, I'll show you this piston when we get it off got to take that off yet but uh I looked and looked for parts, couldn't find a cylinder, and finally uh, Bellhopper told me to get a hold of Brennan Cass, he might have something, and by darn he did. And lo and behold, that turkey's already been ported. We'll grab the light and we'll look inside this one. It looks a little bit different than that other one. It's, uh, it's had some porting done. Look at that. Flicker over. That is, boy, that exhaust looks really nice. Not not like I'm a good person to tell you that it looks good, but it, it looks good to me. And really hoping that it'll get this old saw going. It's not my saw. It's a friend of mine's saw. And, uh, yeah, I just hope we can get it running for him. So, I'll get you guys changed around here, set up, maybe so you can see what we're doing. I'm not real good at getting those close-up shots, but I'll try to get you somewhere that you can kind of see what's going on. And this may just be a tutorial on what not to do. Let's hope not. Okay. I'll try to remember you guys are over there and not get in the way. Maybe you can see. I apologize for the sniffling. I don't know what's going on, but I got the sniffles. So, see if we can get this piston off here. This carcass is a. Uh, this one of those. Maybe I should have taken more off, but I don't know. It's going to give me any more access so we'll see what we can do okay here i probably need i don't need those but i need to put them someplace i remember where they're at for some reason. I don't know why, but I probably should. Oh, 
Apparently those are magnetic. Cool. Now, push that out. Here, oh, I'll we'll come this way. All right, I knew there was a, a direction of things. Wow, oh, there is no markings on top of that piston I can see. I've only done this kind of stuff once or twice, so I've Markings on pistons don't always mean anything to me. I know that the new piston has markings on it. Let's get that wrist pin out of there. Come on, turkey. There we go. This one looks all right. It's been warm. You see those lines on there? This one's got one in it, so we'll just use all the stuff that Brandon sent us. I checked all this stuff. I should have showed you that. I checked all these. These bearings in the lower end all feel good. I don't, I don't find any play anywhere, so I think the bottom end's still good. Let's let's say it is, because <laughs> you know. Uh, we'll get a clean rag. It, everything in this shop's got dust on it. It's not good, and I know. Sorry, you're in the way of the rag drawer. So I think the arrow is telling me that that's going the exhaust side, right? Everybody's listening, telling me that's right? Am I right, guys? Nobody's talking up yet. Boy, that, that turkey's in there. There we go. If I'd have been paying attention, if it makes a difference, I'd have known which one of them wrist pins to take out. But I guess we're gonna take them both out because I think it took the wrong one out. You guys that know what you're doing, I know you're probably gagging right now, thinking, oh my goodness, what is this kid doing? Well, I ain't no kid and I don't know what I'm doing. So there you go. Yeah, this pin, Looks, looks a little better than the other one, so anyway, we we're going to use it anyway. It didn't matter. Does that matter which way those go in? Okay, it'll go in from that direction. It won't. Yeah, it will. Go in either way, I guess. We're learning. We're learning, folks. I've haven't done many of these. Like I say, I think I did the P60. These flies are sticky today. Let's get some stuff moved here. Just 
guy this way because we can see better what we're doing from this direction. Get that started a little. There we go. Well, I'm so awkward doing this. I don't I haven't done it enough to be comfortable with it. That's for sure. Well, I was getting ready to reposition it, it flopped right in there, so good for us. I do know that that pins for the ring gap, so we got that going for us. Let me shut you off and I'll, uh, I'll go get my ring compressors and stuff. We'll put the cylinder head down on there and we'll check the squish. So I told you that I would show you why we're replacing this cylinder and piston. You already seen the cylinder. Well, there's our ring gap. Oh, look at that. Looks like we've got another ring gap. No, nope, that's aluminum. That's aluminum. Little, little mushy. Got a little hot, so yeah. I think it saw a little heat so I got this piston put on I did put the, the retaining clips back in it which I was trying to forget to do because I get all excited about doing stuff oh you know what we probably ought to put well no let's wait let's just we'll put it together We'll check the squish, and then we'll uh, take it back apart, put a little moto seal on there because we are not using a base gasket. Uh, let's see, let's roll up. Roll that piston down a little bit. Probably should have taken that handle off. We may do that if it proves to be too much of a pain in the butt. But I think we can probably get this with it on. I know this is hard for some of you guys to watch. I'm probably doing this the worst way there is possible. Well, I know that isn't working. I'm going to shut you off. I'm going to take this handle off just so it's out of our way. Okay. We're back. I practiced putting that cylinder on. And it took me so long, once I got it on there, I figured you guys didn't need to see that. That was, uh, it was not easy. Not necessarily hard. But uh, let's check the squish now. Where did my pliers go that had the cutters on them? I done lost them. Heh. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Where in the world could those have gone? I just used them. Well, we'll do it. We'll do it without cutting the solder, I guess. I, I just, I literally just cut it off. Oh well. Make sure you guys are still in the picture. Yeah, you are. Okay, so I went ahead and I put the recoil back on it
So here we go. Oi. That's kind of hard solder. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, well that wasn't good. Don't do that. Let's use this solder. It's plenty large. My goodness. Wow, look at that. You can you can actually do that with the right solder. I tell you, I don't know that it's a good idea to let a redneck have an idea because he'll just go ahead and do it whether he knows what he's doing or not. So it looks like we got 30, 36. That's, I think we're okay with 36, aren't we? 35, right on the end. Let's check it again. I sure wish I knew where them pliers went. I had the cutters on them. Gosh, just a second. Let me find some dang pliers. How can you lose pliers that quick? Okay, we're back. I don't I don't remember doing it, but apparently I put those back in the toolbox, so whatever. I'm uh <laughs> I'm prone to be silly sometimes. Forget what I'm doing. Oh, don't go. Go in the exhaust port. There we go. Okay. If we come up with that same number ish, yeah, we're right in there. So we're going to say we got 35 squish. 35,000, so I think we're good. Look at that band. This saw has seen some use, folks. Not the first time it's been rebuilt, as far as I know. We'll, uh, we'll straighten that out for him, but I'll uh, take all this back apart. I'll get some moto seal on there. And we'll uh, get these torqued down. I was just going to say, Brandon, I'm sending this thing back. Ain't got no compression. <laughs> I bet it's got a bunch of compression once we get the plug in there. So I'll uh, put this back together, take it apart, then put it back together. And we'll uh, see where we get. Okay, <clears throat> we are in fact back. So we uh, took that off, cleaned everything up one more time, got motor seal on everything, wiping some off right there. I, oh, that stuff does what it's supposed to do, but man, what it, that stuff is stringier than hot mozzarella cheese on pizza. So I think to finish this video, we're just going to throw that plug in there. We'll torque it down a little bit. See what kind of compression we feel like we got. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and run it.
Hopefully we'll run it. We'll try to run it. Yeah. have some compression cool 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 well all right folks thanks for hanging around love y'all remember please just uh just hit like or subscribe or don't like or whatever you know throw a comment up there just say hey helps the channel it makes me feel better about myself so Love y'all. We will see you when we start this bad boy. Hey, you crazy kids. That thing went together a lot easier than I thought it would. So we're just going to finish this video out. I thought it would be a series, but it went pretty good so far. If it doesn't start, I guess we'll do some more. Let's go out there and see if it'll work. As you can hear, it's raining. We're in a tender shop. Nothing I can do about that but speak up. Put a little gas in this turkey. I'm so excited.
This is absolutely honest excitement. Wow! First part it saw I've ever had anything to do with. But I can tell it runs already. So, uh, woo! I am so excited! I'm so excited! Uh, before I embarrass myself anymore, now we'll call it a video. We'll put this one up and we will, uh, well, if we give a quick rain, we'll cut some wood tomorrow, I hope. We're going to cut wood tomorrow, even if it's raining, I don't care. Yeah, baby. That freaking runs bad. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's a bad thing. I got some saws I'm going to get ported now. I ain't going to do it. Oh, one more time. One more time. Oh. No adjustments on the carburetor. Nobody filled it. Yeah. Awesome. All I can say is it's a good thing it's not mine. I can give it to him running and he can blow it up because I know I, well, I don't know if I blow it up. It's probably a good deal. Because I had nothing to do with it, but putting it back together, so... Hey, we'll cut some wood. Thanks for showing up. I'm glad you got to see this. This might be the most excited I've ever been on a video. That bad boy run now. Oh my goodness. She run. Woo! Hey. Remember guys, this is a learning channel for me, probably not for a lot of you guys, but as long as we have fun along the way and we don't kill ourselves or lose a leg, that's a good thing. So uh, just remember to keep the faith, remember to love all you guys, please click like subscribe, notifications, all that stuff. Make my day by throwing a comment up. I, I, I love that. If I had more comments than likes, I'd be a happy person. But I'm happy that you're here watching anyway, so. Wow, I am so, so freaking excited. Ooh, I can't wait to get this in with it. Go out and get yourself.